I'm going to be showing an updated video of how to fit 8 AWG wire onto 4mm HXT connectors without destroying the silicone insulation on the wire. My last video I did on this um, required removing a lot of the silicone uh, insulation and replacing it with heat shrink tube. Now, when the heat shrink tube gets hot because the wires are getting hot uh, because of amp draw, it melts even more and exposes the wire. It's no good. So I'm going to show you how to do this with four simple tools, no bench grider needed, and uh, I suppose let's uh, just get to it. I'll show you the tools you need. You'll need a box cutter, a drill, a file, and a soldering iron. Now, <clears throat> of course, your connectors, you know, HXT connectors. Um, might as well just get out, wait for the iron to get hot, and uh, we'll get at her. Okay, so the solder I use is lead free solder. Um, I use that because <clears throat> the regular electrical solder, which consists of 40% tin and 60% lead, has a lot lower melting temperature and therefore when your connections get hot they can pull apart. Um, soldering paste, lead free tinning flux and a solder. And uh, I think the soldering iron is hot enough. Let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> this soldering iron is so hot that um, it's 150 watt that it uh, actually burns the solder off the tip. It, you can't tin this tip, it'll just burn it off. So. Alright, let's get started. Tools you'll need, a drill, small needle nose pliers, a file, a side cutter, your solder, and a box knife. First things first, we have to strip back a little bit of the wire probably about that much. Just kind of roll it in there. The silicone cuts very easily. Next thing you want to do, since the wire won't fit in here, like at all, what you do is you peel back the individual wires and you clip them off to the point where it will slip into the connector. And they got a few more to take off here. it up. Should fit right in. Fits right in there. Look at that. All right. Now clean your tip again because it's melting there. It's baking the solder off of there. Tin your or, uh, um, flux your solder. Flux your wire a little bit. Get it on there. Get it all nice and warm. A little solder on there to help it flow up the heat flow up into the wire. This wire takes a lot of heat to do this. A lot. Shake it off a little bit. What you've got is a nicely tinned wire. It fits right in there. What you want to do is take your connector. Put it in there, not too tight. Give it a click. And you can see that that pronounced ridge here. That's going to keep it from wanting to slide into the connector easily. So what you do is you take your file. You file that ridge off at a 
45 degree angle. Still a ridge there. There, I think that'll work. Now you take your little needle nose and clean your tip again. Now what you're gonna wanna do of course you want to tin your <clears throat> put your solder paste get some inside there a little bit wipe off the excess get some soldering paste up there clean your tip clean 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 and <clears throat> you don't want to run do this trick with this connector or with you know put the solder here and let so the flow the heat flows more flows quicker up into the what you're trying to solder you don't want solder on the outside of this let her warm up real good and you just want to barely fill that oop might have gotten too much and you take your wire Stick in there and let the heat from the connector heat up the solder that's on the wire and the pre-tinned wire. And twist her in a little bit. Let her set for a second and pull it off. And my fingers are getting hot. Owie, 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 owie. Okay. That should be a good joint. Give her a tug. Make sure it stays on there. Then what you do, <clears throat> stick that on there, Stick that. start sticking that in there. Now this isn't going to want to go, so what you want to do is heat this, heat this up a little bit. That up Ooh, a little too far a little too far don't do that don't do that and then it should twist right in the hell's... yep there it goes felt it go hey look at that yeah just don't do that that looks ugly that looks ugly. Just don't try to hurry. Just warm it up enough to to help it expand when you push the thing in there. And there you're left with 8WG wire with the silicone intact and the connector right where it should be. Cutting the silicone covering off and that. the brain is fucking not working today.